I went to college, then I became a teacher. Yes. I didn't allow bad language. And one boy used a four-letter word. I put him out of my class, and his mother came in. And the first thing out of her is, where is that teacher? And she used the word. I said, I'm that teacher. If you want to talk like that with your children in your house, it's all right, but you can't do it in my classroom. And believe me, he never used it again. My name is Frances Friedman. Ida Keeley. September 26th, I will be 103 years old. I am 107. 100 years and three months. My daughter says I'm 100. <laughs> I am 110 months. I always did love to work. I had a lot of interesting jobs. Everyone in my family, I think my age, we all worked hard. I got a job with an orthodontist, and so I wound up doing the paperwork. I took x-rays. My father became a citizen, and he worked for a, a restaurant, and after a while, he built his own restaurant. The success was that he worked very hard to keep the family together. It was hard times. That was back in the 30s. Every day looked like Sunday because there was so much unemployment. If you took care of somebody's child all day, you got 25 cents. And sometimes you didn't get that. But they didn't have it. You learn to make do with what you got. And that's what a lot of people learn. As money got a little better, you got a little better, but you never you lose that thought of still living within your means. I see here in New York so many girls that are from out of town and they come to New York to see what's going on and it gives you a, a wider scope of what you want to do. When I was young, we lived with our parents, then we got married. I don't think I took too many risks at that time. That's why I can say that it, it's good to take risks. Well, when I was graduated, I was married immediately, and my husband was a doctor. At that time, we didn't have answering services or telephone services, so I worked with him on the office. And after he died, I was encouraged by the friends to go back to school and become a speech therapist. I never finished my dissertation because I remarried. I married a lawyer, so I helped him in the office. <laughs> I was married a long time, and my husband was a plumber, and uh, I worked for an orthodontist. So Thursday was our late night, and he came home at 4 o'clock. So he got angry one night, and he said, I do not want you to go to work. I want dinner on the table when I come home from work. So that was the end of my going to work. But I was very creative. I designed rings, and I cast them as sterling. And as a matter of fact, I made the wedding ring I was married in. That I made in gold. First of all, get a good education. When you're young, take risks. Try different, uh, different kinds of endeavors so that you can make up your mind which one you really like. You always have to find out what you're interested in first and try to start off from there. After my second husband died, I became a teacher for juvenile delinquents, for which I was totally unprepared. <laughs> they were 13 to 16-year-old boys. Every other word out of their mouths was either motherfucker <laughs> or something similar. <laughs> they spoke another language. Why do you think you were so good at teaching these troubled kids? Well, I had sympathy for them and that came forward. 